Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to upgrade your normal Enso to the Enso EX version. So this only works on 3.60 or 3.65 that has Enso installed. Basically, what this upgraded version has, um, it's basically like a mod. Uh, it has the ability to keep the original PlayStation Boot logo, or you can use a custom logo. It's got Safe Boot. It's got SD to Vita drivers, update blocker, and also the normal installer. So let me just show you the normal version now. So if I would go ahead and just open up the normal version of Enso, it's going to look exactly like this. Um, so I'm just going to press like triangle to go back, and then just triangle to exit, and we can close that down. So what I want to do is upgrade this to the EX version. So what we need to do to do that is go ahead and open up VitaShell. Once VitaShell loads, we will need to press select, either connect it via FTP server or USB connection. So go and connect this to your PC, and then I will show you guys what to do next. So I will leave a link to the Enso Installer EX in the description of this video. And as you guys can see, version 3.0 was actually released three days ago. So um, compared to the last version, this is actually quite new. So what you guys want to do is just click on the Enso Installer.vpk and that will begin at downloading. So it's a very small file. Once you have got it downloaded, go over to your downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in there. So what I'm going to do now is using FileZilla is transfer this via the FTP connection. So let's just put in the host. So just put in the host and the port. You guys should know how to do this. Make sure they're not the same as mine. And then it's just quick connect. And now what we can do is transfer our VPK file into our UXO. So this one right here, let's just drag and drop that in. And there you go. That is literally it. Once it has been transferred across to our PSTV, let's go and install it. And I will show you guys what you can do with it. Okay, so once we are back, we can close out of this message. Let's go onto our EXO. Let's go all the way down to find the Enso Installer EX. So here it is, the VPK file. Press X, X again, and then it should just start installing. Okay, so once it finished installing, let's just go and close out of VitaShell, and then we can find it on our home screen. So as you can see, it's been upgraded to Enso EX, previously just Enso. Now if you wish to downgrade it, all you have to do is install the old VPK. I actually had a copy of the old VPK, or I've got a video on my channel where you can find it again. But let's go and open up EX version, and let's check out some of the brand new features. So you will actually have to go and kind of like install it again, not really install it, you just kind of press X and it will just like reinstall itself, you know it doesn't really take too long. So on this page what we have to do is press circle to accept, um, then we have to press the cross or X to install slash reinstall the hack. Now this is where we can get the options. Once once this bit finishes loading, we will be able to see all of these kind of like custom options we can get. So the first option we get here, the custom option one, is the boot logo. Press cross for the custom logo slash animation, or press square for the PlayStation boot logo. So I don't actually have a custom one on here yet, so we can just press square for the PlayStation one. Then we've got custom option two. This is for the SD to Vita driver. Would you like to install this? I do not actually have an SD to Vita on my PS TV, so I'm just going to press um, cross to disable this one. And then we've got option three, um, the um, update process. So you can block updates. I'm going to press square to block updates. And then it's going to save, and it's just going to like, re like you know, reinstall. And what you would do, you just press cross to launch um, until config. So in the configurator, we actually have more stuff. We have SD to V to wake up, and we can actually just press square to disable this one. I don't really need this one. Then we've got um, sleep FD fix by the flow. Don't know what I don't actually know what that is. So I'm going to press square to disable that. And then we also have delay boot. I don't want delay boot, so I'm going to press cross on that one. It's going to say done. Press any key to reboot. And then that is pretty much it. So that is the Enso Installer EX. Basically Enso with more features added on to the end. So it isn't really like a, like a, you know, something you must have. You can add all of these things without actually having it. But it just makes it easier. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.